This is the fastest version of the first ever Mercedes-Benz A-Class sedan. So, that's the all-new CLA, is that right, Jez? No, 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 A-Class sedan. A-Class so, sedan. So, Mercedes-Benz right. is going to do two compact sedans. Right. So A-Class sedan, and then there's also CLA as well. CLA. You've already lost me. You've okay. already lost me. This is the BMW M235i Grand Coupe. Right, mm. so just like the 2 Series Coupe and yep. the 2 Series Convertible, it's rear-wheel drive based. Um, no, well it should be front-wheel drive, but this is X-Drive, so it's all-wheel drive. Right, got that? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're taking notes. <laughs> These two compact performance sedans cross the bridge between enthusiast and executive buyers. But while their spec sheets are similar, which one is quicker in the real world? To find out, we're going to test acceleration and braking with a 0 to 100 to 0 test, then put them through a motor carner on the skid pan to test their agility. For the ultimate challenge, given they're both all-wheel drive of course, we'll even fire up the waterworks. To ensure we get the best possible times out of our AMG and M performance models, former racing driver Ian Dyke is on hand with a set of special driving skills Trent and I simply don't possess. Ian won a bunch of races in Australian Formula 3 in his earlier years, while he also had the patriotic honour of representing Team Australia in the multi-nation A1GP Championship. Let's cover off some quick specs. Our two fast four-door models are closely matched on price. The Mercedes AMG A35 sedan is priced from $72,500 before on-road costs. The BMW M235i Grand Coupe was cheaper when it launched, but just two months later its price jumped from $69,990 to $72,990. Each car is powered in a similar way, with a 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine, and each is essentially a front-wheel drive car with on-demand all-wheel drive systems. All right, Jez, we know how fast these cars are on paper. So what we've done is we've got Ian, our racing driver, who's quicker than us, down there, and what's he about to do for us? Well, Trent, he is now going to do the 0 to 100 to 0 ah, test. Ah, so this will test braking as well. Exactly. Each car will accelerate from a standstill and, as soon as the car reaches 100 km an hour, Ian will hit the anchors. The vehicle that stops in the shortest distance wins. Simple. It should be close. The Mercedes-AMG A35 sedan would nominally have an on-paper advantage, with a claimed sprint time of 4.8 seconds. The M235i Grand Coupe is quoted at 4.9 seconds. But our test car features an optional M Performance package that includes 18-inch wheels that are smaller and lighter than the standard 19s. And in combination with some engine overboost, this shaves a tenth off its standing start acceleration. Not a bad launch. Not a bad launch at all. Two cones from the end. I, yeah, I, I thought plenty gonna, of distance. No. I, I thought we might have needed some extra cones no, there. No, no, he's got plenty of distance and now we're going to leave this here. He's going to jump in the Merc, do the same thing in the next lane and we'll see which one stops faster. Okay. Okay, Jez, this will be good. Merc's up next, Ian's down there and he's ready. Pick where you think it's going to stop. Right, okay, well... Uh, okay, <laughs> Yeah, you go first. Alright. Okay, oh, this is... Oh! Okay, that's interesting. All right. Well, maybe, I, maybe I'm not even going to pick a cone, I'm just going to go halfway between. Okay, them. I'm going to go about here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's come on. Closer to you. <laughs> oh. The A35 bested the M235i by a significant 6.81 metres. The Mercedes sprinted to 100 km an hour in 5.03 seconds, 600 quicker than the M235i, though its stronger brakes and grippier Pirelli P0 tyres were bigger factors in its margin of victory. And that made my guess better than Trent's. Now it is on to the Motocana. Straight line acceleration and braking are important for performance vehicles, but to be considered driver's cars, they need to offer accomplished dynamics. Our Motocana course is relatively simple, but also challenging. First up is a slalom course to test directional response. Then there's a series of hairpins that will test brakes, turn-in and traction, before we finish up with a Super G slalom to test grip and stability at a higher speed. Timing is from a standing start to a standing stop. Okay, three, two, one, go! Right, there goes the BMW M. Zero fuss, and look, no 
No screeching? No nothing. Oh, there you go. I oh. said no screeching and we got bit one. Of, uh, bit of body roll. <laughs> body roll. Right, into the middle hairpin. Did you say no screeching? At the start, screeching at the second part. I tell you what does sound good is the exhaust note. But as we always say with these guys, the smoother this looks, the faster it is. Look how balanced it is. He's pushing oh, it. Here it goes, there. here we go. And to stop. All right. You know what I reckon? That's faster than when we do it. Uh, definitely faster <laughs> than when we do it. But there you go, that's, uh, that's why you hire the pros. What do we got? Tell me what it is. Oh, do you want to have a guess? I reckon it's around a minute. Around a minute? How big do you think this course is? <laughs> How fast is it? It's the skid it? pattern on the whole track. <laughs> All right, 35.51 seconds. 35.5, so we'd be around a minute. That's we would be, yeah, yeah, exactly. be about a minute. 35.51, okay. Yeah. We gave Ian a couple more attempts and he lowered the M235i's time slightly to a best of 35.33. A35 sedan, three, two, one, go! Look, at, look how quick that gets out of the hole. That was a good getaway. Oh, beautiful. Now that, now that looks look at, like look at, it, look at it around there, around that, that hairpin. That looks like better body control to me, a bit less lean. Doesn't seem to dive as much quite under brakes as well. It's looking doesn't. good. Yeah, it doesn't. I just love how sharp it is around these tight ones. It's looking faster than the BMW. This has got to be quicker. Uh, Surely. It's looking good look through the, the Super G. What do you got for me? Okay, so, so what do you think? Did, did it looked faster than the BMW? It definitely looked faster. The BMW was 35.33, correct? Correct. This looked faster. It did look faster. It the has to the be body quicker. control, it just looked way, tighter. Way, way better. Less roll. It has to be quicker. All right, but what does that mean in. I'm saying time a second a second faster. 34. 32.90. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's. Uh, More than two seconds. That is a hammering. That's a hammering on this circuit because this isn't a long circuit. Extrapolate that out over a racetrack. That's massive. Wow. More than two seconds. Impressive. That two second win was despite the Mercedes making 225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters, which is less torque than the BMW. Clearly, it has an exceptional engine in terms of power delivery. The gearbox is smooth and fast, and it's obviously got a very technically adept all wheel drive system. Because even as Ian found, you can get on the power quicker out of the corner and carry more speed into the corner in the first place. It means you're faster everywhere, but certainly on a short motor Kana course like this one, you're going to be faster all the time. In theory then, Jez and I should also be faster. Let's see. Oh yeah, you, no, okay. no. Oh, there we go. No, no, about two metres back would be good, I reckon. Ian had the nose lined up. Oh, get how's back. that? Get back. Oh, come on. Get back. There, that'll do. That's oh. good. I like that. Are you ready? No. <laughs> the answer's yes. Three, two, one, go. Come on! Not a bad start, actually. It's all right, not too bad. Well, that engine doesn't sound too bad. It's a bit artificial, but a little bit of understeer. Patient on the throttle. Well, there's a lot of pressure to try and beat Trent here. Hard on the brake, into the hairpin. Turn around, try and keep it neat. Floor on the throttle, other hairpin. Hard on the brakes. Oh, those brakes are not bad, a little bit of screeching. Oh, oh, there's a bit of body roll out there. That's actually not bad. I just want to make sure, hang on. Oh, oh, we're oh gonna, come on. We're going to have to talk to our official judge, Ian, about what it's when you're not fully inside well, I, I the box. I can't help it if I'm such a good breaker. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was pretty impressive, actually. 36.6. 36.6. That's pretty quick. Yeah, I'll live with that. Yeah. Or, or get another job. Now I'm going to attempt to go slower. No, keep your day job. <laughs> which isn't which isn't this. No. <laughs> what mode did you have this in? Comfort. <laughs> Just about there will be good, mate. Um. Hmm. Back she goes. Back she goes. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. All right, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. That will do you. Yeah. Uh, hey, easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's eager. Three, two, one, go! Nothing's happening. That wasn't a bad launch. Oh, he's, go he's going for it. He's going for it. The brakes, mm, good. Steering, oh, you got to work hard. You got to work really hard. 
Classic patient on the throttle. Oh, that was quite nicely done, quite tidy. Quite tidy, he goes into the last hairpin, coming round to the Super G. Oh yeah, he had to be a bit patient on the throttle there, let's see. Oh, that's tidier, that's tidier. <laughs> well, you know, the, no the nose is over the coast. Oh, this but your front wheels are in, I'm gonna let you have it. Look, we haven't driven the Merc yet, but this, this does feel like hard work. You gotta work hard. I could hear you having to be really patient on the throttle. You've gotta work hard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was quite a tidy run, yeah. got to give it to you. Yeah. 35.78. Whoa! Really? So that's quicker than you, is it? Um, yeah, thanks, I'm going home, mate. Yep, yeah. No, I'm done for the All day. Right. See you, mate. We've still got a car to go. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know what the problem we've got with this one now, Jez? There's no excuses because we've already been out in the BMW. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to be better this time around. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, felt like a slight delay on the launch, but okay. Body control seems a little bit tighter through that. Oh, that's nice, nice response. Let's seize it around here. Just seems so much more composed. Better balance, better under brakes. The steering looks a little sharper. Traction away from the hairpin seems a little bit better in this, you know? I wonder if we're gaining some time there. Not bad, not bad how, at all. How was that, how was that? Now, first of all, how did that feel? It Just looked the, faster. The, the track, I felt like a bit of a bog down at the start, mm. but otherwise out of the hairpins, yeah. like the, the, the traction was good. I felt I could get on the, the throttle just that little bit earlier. Yep. Not bad. 35.3. So that's quicker than the BMW, yeah. significantly. Yeah. And, and it just looked, from the outside watching you do it, it just looked like you didn't have to work quite as hard. The line through the middle here was great. I need to work harder, because obviously <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a slow driver. But, yeah. you know, but don't give but up I, your day I'm job. I'm here to represent your average Joe driver. That's correct, yes. <laughs> it's clear I need to work on my later braking into the end box, but hey, at least I'm consistent. And I was notably quicker in the A35. Now to find out how Trent goes. Now you've got your comfort mode again, yeah? I'm in comfort mode, I'm ready to go. All right, let's see how you go, Trent. Three, two, one, go! Oh, bogged down off the start a bit, but oh, that was very nice and tidy through the cones. Less screeching. This is so much faster. It just feels faster. To the big middle hairpin. A bit wide, but that's all right. Here we go. Final hairpin, come on. Come on, Trent, come on. No, that throttle. <laughs> <laughs> He's come in a little bit hot. He's coming a bit hot. How did you find that? It's just so much faster. It just, it's fa it feels faster than the BMW, I think, because it's a bit easier. Yeah, you look, you look really tidy through the asylum, tidier than when you're in the BMW. You look good coming out of the corners, look like you're getting onto the accelerator a bit quicker, less tyre squeal, mm. and yeah, you're very nice through the Super G. And your time? Yes. 34. Yes. 0.27. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, a five second time penalty for out the gate. <laughs> so I'm fastest. <laughs> okay, Jez, this is the fun stuff. Motor car time again, but something's different out there. Uh, it's looking a bit wet. Yes, that's what it is. Absolutely. We're going to get Ian to set a control time just because I'm really intrigued to see the difference between dry and wet with these cars. Well, and test out these all-wheel drive systems. Yeah, absolutely. See if they're any good. Right, let's go. <laughs> on your marks. Three, two, one, go. I like the look right. of that. I like the look of that balance, Jez. That looks quick. Yeah, still a bit of body roll, but looking balanced. Let's see, coming out there. Let's see what the traction's like. Sadly, it looks faster than our times in the dry. Yeah. Uh, sadly for us. That's, uh, not difficult in my case, particularly. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The last hairpin into yep. the Super G. Let's see what this is like. Is it going to understeer? Not that. Oh. No, not bad. That's not at all. Good. That's looking good. Oh, he's in. Oh. oh. That's, <laughs> that's not bad. That's, that's not bad not, at all. That's not too shabby. So, what do you think? Do you think it's faster or slower than when you went in the dry? Well, there's definitely left grip out there, but. Um, the car feels balanced. Mm. It, look, it looked like it was going faster mm. than it did in the drive. Mm. We've got a 34.48. <laughs> 
So I did use launch control. You did lose, yeah, but the message with this car is you need to do a rain dance before you go for a drive every right. time. That's amazing. Okay, mate, time for the CLA. A-class sedan. That's right, A-class sedan. Time for the A-class sedan. Well, at least sedan. you picked a Mercedes. Yeah, that's right. He's ready, he looks ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! That's a good that's, launch. That's a good launch. That's, that's a, a very good launch. good launch. Okay, straight into the slalom. Oh, I tell you. Oh, that's quick. Again, you know, it's less body roll yeah. than the BMW looks. Even more balanced. That is that's quick. That's a nice exit out of the hairpin. Now into the middle hairpin. It's tidy again, just like it did in the dry. Oh, I like it. He's got a wider line in there. Yeah, and like they're very nice. Now, let's see how he goes to the Here Super G. Go. Which, the BMW looked good through that it section. Did. Fa this is uh, fast. This is looking good as well. Very fast. <laughs> so, how did that one feel, mate? Felt fast. Yep. It, uh, it looked fast. It's neat in the dry, but it's it, neat in the wet as well. Yeah, it looked tidy in yeah. the dry. It looked tidy in the wet. 33.42. Not bad. Just half a second slower. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. And again, though, quicker than the BMW. And, and again, quicker than we would be. Again, yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, but saying that, it's time to get the professional right. driver Enough out of this and timing the professionals nonsense. to go and have some fun. We're going to go and have some fun. And it was fun as Trent and I had a crack at the wet motorcana, even in the BMW. But when we changed the skid pan course for some drifting action, despite the slippery surface and all electronic vehicle aids in the off position, neither the BMW nor the Mercedes would go sideways. It was an inevitable result of two all-wheel drive systems that lack sufficient rear bias. Both cars can send only up to a maximum of 50% engine torque to the back wheels, which is no fun at all. The A35 at least makes a valiant attempt to resist understeer, but the M235i is determined to plough wide. Well, I guess one thing's for certain there, Jez, if you want to have fun, Front wheel drive biased all wheel drive cars like this are not that much fun on a wet skid pan. Uh, no, definitely buy a rear wheel drive car or buy an M240i yeah. coupe yes. or CLA45 for the yeah. drift mode. Yep, absolutely. Now, first up, before we get into our final thoughts, I just want to ask Ian what he thinks, having driven them in the wet and the dry. Ian, first of all, thanks for joining us today, mate, and making us look bad. The BMW surprised me because we went back out on the motor car that you'd set up in the wet and it seemed like it was better to drive in the wet than the dry. It was really weird. It was, it was certainly more enjoyable. It gave more feedback in the wet. It was, a, it was a difficult car in the dry in that you had to be quite patient. If you wanted to put the power down, you had to wait till you had the thing turned before you could get on the loud pedal. But put some wet weather underneath you and, uh, and all of a sudden it started to just um, cooperate and, and come into its own. It certainly looked like it was working harder or you were working harder behind the wheel from outside when you're watching to set a time so what did you think of the mercedes because for us novices it seemed like a much faster car straight away it was and um, i just had a huge amount of fun in that from the get-go wet or dry uh, it was a car that you could just place it all you had to do is look where you wanted to put the thing and uh, before you knew it it was there if you wanted to be on the loud pedal you could get away with it if you pushed too hard into a corner it'd pull up and still turn for you so very cooperative bit of kit Okay, so we've got to make a call here, mate. Which one's the most fun? Well, I think you could say it's a black and white decision because it's <laughs> definitely the A35 sedan for yeah. me. Things to like about the BMW, but this A35, yeah, it's not the full hardcore AMG, mm. but there's just something about it. It just feels like a really resolved little performance car. Yeah, definitely more fun today. There's no doubt about that. Although I will say what surprised me again about this BMW was how sort of proficient it became in the wet on the motorcana compared to the way it was in the dry. Still not as much fun as this. And I think, you know, Ian said it earlier in the day, this makes you feel like a really good driver, this particular car, because it's so resolved. So, of course, you can read the full review at caradvice.com. Jez is doing the twin test. You'll get all your facts and figures and data and analysis there. So go to the website to check that out. In the meantime, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, click like and subscribe and let us know what you think about these two cars in the comments section below. We had a couple of runs in the BMW that weren't great, though Ian wasn't sure if there was a launch control system or not. Luckily, I had a foolproof method for finding out. Right, L for launch control. See, I, no, I, right. I went to school. Yeah. Launch control, yeah, one, right. one, five, four. Uh, I didn't have the stability control off.
Ah, which you, she did try. I did try it. Once. Okay. Yeah. Drive to, on drive ready state. Press the button. Do you see traction is displayed? Yep. She's done that. Engage. Select her position. S. Ah, so it's got. Uh, oh, got I see. Flick, flick across. Gotcha.